back at it again with my addiction. It, it's just, it's terrible. It's really terrible. I, I can't stop drinking Mountain Dew. You know, they made these zero sugar Mountain Dew uh, bottles, but you know, it's not, it's not helping. It's still not helping. They may cut the sugar down on it, but the caffeine's still fucking in there. I need a hero at this point. Where Where is Sunny Delight when you need him? Oh! There he is! <laughs> now that's fucked up. <laughs> Besides, uh, this little depressing uh, introduction here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, Prackle Pat, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a reaction to a bunch of fights between brand companies. I'm sure a lot of people are well aware of Wendy's, which is one of them that goes after just random companies and says this and that about them. I mean, hey, it is what it is. I think it's pretty hilarious that companies go all their way to do this to one another. And that's kind of why I want to react to these. Uh, basically, uh, you know, grab your favorite beverage. Um, mine today is going to be Mountain Dew. We're just going to get straight into this video. This is kind of um, not really a brand, but it is uh, Donald J. Trump or Donald Trump going after a brand. By the way, I don't really keep up with sports at all. So forgive me if I didn't understand that. But pretty much deadspin is a multimedia company they deal mainly with sports they do a lot of recaps and highlights and plays and games. we're just gonna call him manti he apparently the whole fiasco was apparently he did something and he got drafted because of it so he's no longer with the team he was with if that makes sense deadspin i guess uh from what says there congratulations to tom and timothy i guess they work for deadspin apparently i guess they exposed manti teo for uh just i guess something which caused him to end up getting drafted not really that funny but pretty much messed up they told him to go fuck himself and jeez, to think he's president now and this company told Donald J. Trump, the president of the United States, go fuck himself back in 2013. But then again, I'm sure there's people telling him every day to go, you know, F himself. Anyways, moving on. Alright, so apparently this is a direct... I don't know where the rest of this is. I could not find this anywhere else. But just Sunny Delight saying we should take this tweet, put it in the garbage. And... Moonpie's response is, can we at least recycle it? Sunny Delight says, this trash can't be recycled. And then, wait for it, Moonpie says, unlike your tweets. Oh! I'm assuming it had to be something to do with uh, Moonpie advertising something. That's all I know. Beautiful, just beautiful. We got Old Spice and Taco Bell. Why is it that fire sauce isn't made with any real fire. Seems like false advertising. Old Spice, is your deodorant made with really old spices? Hmm, that is a good question. So I'm kind of curious to see what this, but pretty much I can't really say. Doesn't really say it's not, but doesn't really say it is either. That's a good question. So this is like a pretty long one here with a, Steak and Shake, Wendy's, and Famous Dave's. Steak and Shake says, uh, yeah, that's cool. So long as you keep leaving the delicious to us. Huh? Over 30 minutes? Do people usually have to wait that long with you guys? <coughs> the wait's actually killing me. 30 minutes. The Steak and Shake goes, uh, we were busy trying to figure out how to thaw out square burger patties. Any tips? I meant... You were busy reacting to having a tweet get more than a hundred likes and y'all know fresh beef doesn't have to thaw. Ooh, Wendy's. The famous Dave says, uh, can you wreck us so we get some attention? Steak and shake. Say all oh, this famous Dave's. Nobody asked you. No, we did. No, we did ask you. Famous Dave's. Dude. How does, like... A company just fails so badly. But pretty much Butterfinger says, uh, no fake love here. Congrats on a new video. BTS, a big hit. Try diving into some Butterfinger next time. 
And three days later, Snickers says, we think BTS underscore big hit made the right choice. And Butterfinger says, three days later, you missed the party? Looks like they did miss the party. <laughs> like I was saying, there are memes on this, and dude, there's Danny's getting food thrown down. You got one day, Sunny D, and I can't figure out what the one is behind them. Like, there's tons of, like, just memes and just art on social media brand accounts fighting each other online. It's crazy. You know what? I like this. I like this right here. It's not the full tweet, but basically, who knows what the hell happened here. But basically, Wendy's says, it's an election or something. Who knows anymore? The internet is so dumb. Stigum replies with two food brands fighting over whose social media sucks less for imaginary internet points is pretty spot on for 2018 or you could replace that with internet fame. Bot time Stigum, bot time. Telling them who's boss. Oh now here, I think this might be the banger boys. I think this one might be the banger. Lucid Bill says, need a new BO3 squad. No one plays anymore. And Microsoft says, did you find a new squad? And then he says, Loose Bill says, did you find a way to make Xbox decent yet? <laughs> and then Microsoft says, now we see why no one plays with you. <laughs> the fact that somebody said this about Wendy's, oh my god. I think that might actually be a Photoshop. It looks like it could be. They said all that. I, I can't even read that. I couldn't even read that. It was just profanity left and right. This is a good one. All right. So Chick-fil-A says, per usual, we will be closed Sunday on Super Bowl Sunday. No exceptions. Burger King says, don't worry, everyone. We will be open per usual. And Chick-fil-A says, awfully bold of you to assume. People actually care if you're open on Sundays or not. Damn, Burger King ain't getting no love at all. I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it. I'm trying to find one tweet for a literally half hour and uh, <laughs> waste a half hour of my time. <gasps> That's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, this is something that I want to do for a little while now. That would be pretty interesting to look at some of these. And these were pretty interesting i must say but you know what let me know in the comment section down below what twitter fights you enjoyed the most and if you could make sure to smack a like on the video if you did enjoy and if you guys are new to the channel of course make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more uploads on this channel anyways that's gonna do it for this video thought i'd do a little something different for a reaction video like I said, I won't really classify this as like a meme video. I guess it could be in a way considering the fact that some of these are concerned memes. Which uh, reminds me, if you guys are not following me on any of my social media, you should probably do you should probably do show. You guys should seriously follow me on my links in the description down below. Uh, specifically, check out my Twitter. Um, seriously, go follow me on there. I'm always posting on Twitter and Instagram the most. Uh, if you want to streak me on. Snapchat, and I'm not saying streak as and streak me, you know. Like, I'm saying specifically, if you want to add me on Snapchat, to maybe like do like a streak, like add me on Snapchat. Maybe I can start a streak, streak with some of you guys. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys, like I said, did enjoy. And I will see you all at the next one. Peace out. <laughs>